Hi there, I'm Luke from WeldPro, and today I want to talk about our flagship TIG 200 welder. Today I want to do an unboxing for you. I want to take everything out of the package and show you exactly what comes with it. So when you get your welder, you'll know what to expect and how to set it up. So today I'm going to start by taking everything out of this box piece by piece and showing you exactly what comes in it. One of the first and most important things is the manual. I know it's often overlooked, but the reality is WeldPro has done a great job of putting together some resources that will give you tips and tricks along with some safety information to help you do better when you get started welding. Alright, so in addition to the manual, we also have the welding machine that will come out of the box first. It can be helpful to have a second person to hold the bottom of the box while you pull the machine out. The first thing you'll notice in here is the CK TIG Torch Kit. CK Worldwide has been making TIG torches for a very long time, and this is an extremely high quality TIG torch. Now this is the CK Worldwide Superflex torch, so it comes with the red Superflex hose. If you've never TIG welded with one of these CK Superflex, it is an extremely nice torch. All right, so this CK Superflex kit comes with a neat accessory. This is a hand switch for the CK torch. So what you do is if you're working in a confined space or somewhere where it might be difficult to operate a foot pedal, disconnect the foot pedal. You install this switch on your torch head, route the cable down the entire torch hose, and then this connector plugs in right on the front of the machine where the foot pedal goes. This will allow you to operate by hand the TIG torch if you're in a confined welding position. Something you'll see we include with our package here at WeldPro is the hose protector. Now this is a zippered cover that goes over your TIG torch hose and over any additional wires to help protect it from sparks, from stepping on it, or from any other hazards that might be in the area. This is a nice heavy duty hose cover. It does have a zipper on it so it can unzip and zip back up. It is very easy to install and we'll be doing that in the setup video which will be part two of the TIG 200. This is going to contain your flow meter. The flow meter accurately regulates gas flow to your TIG torch while you're welding. In part two of this series, we'll show you how to install this and set it correctly. All right, the next thing you might notice in your box is the actual foot pedal itself. The foot pedal is how we control our amperage when we're TIG welding. Think of it like a car accelerator. The more you push down, the faster you go. The more you back off, the slower you go. The TIG foot pedal gets plugged in right on the front of the machine with this connector. Also included in the box, you'll notice, is the hose for your flow meter. If you don't have 220 or 240 volt power, that's okay because WeldPro includes, with all of its dual voltage machines, the adapter to go from 110 volts to 220 volts. Now the plug on the machine includes the 220, 240 volt plug. Um, this adapter comes with each machine that is dual voltage and allows you to plug into a 15 or 20 amp 110 volt receptacle. One of the most important things to welding is your actual ground clamp. If you can't send electricity to your workpiece, what good is it? So they've included the ground clamp with the ground cable on it. This is a very high quality clamp with an extremely strong spring. Ugh, it takes me a lot to get it open, but that's what you want because that will give you a secure connection to your workpiece. Here at WeldPro, we include a stinger or an electrode holder for every machine capable of stick welding. All right, so in your accessory bag, you're going to find two pieces of tungsten, one of which is for aluminum and one of which for mild steel and other non-ferrous metals. We'll talk a little more about tungsten in our upcoming videos. You'll notice some other TIG parts in this bag, including the stem, or often known as the back cap for the TIG torch. You'll also notice is included a 332nd collet body. There's a 332nd collet insert for the collet body. The last thing in the bag are gas cups. There are sizes four, five, and six. If you're not sure what to do with these, just hang tight. In coming videos, we'll show you the importance of sizing your gas cup correctly to your weld. All right, so that's everything that comes in the factory TIG 200 box. A lot of really nice accessories and products. Now, what you'll want to do is check out part two of this TIG 200 video series where I walk you through the assembly and the setup of this welding machine and all of its components. Thank you for tuning in today, and thank you for purchasing a Weld Pro machine. 
Our commitment to quality guarantees that your welder is going to run for a long time to come. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Don't forget to take a minute and hit the subscribe button below. We're going to be releasing several video series of tutorials that will teach you how to weld anything from stick, MIG, TIG, ferrous, non-ferrous metals, uh, plasma arc cutting, and any of those types of processes. If you're interested in any of that stuff and you'd like to learn as we go, hit subscribe so that you can be a part of our production series. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, I'm Luke from WeldPro, and we cannot wait to see what you build with your new welder.